When it comes to cell cameras, there's a few more technical things that you need to understand before buying compared to a regular SD card camera. You know, as trail camera manufacturers going through the trade show circuit, and then as we get closer to deer season, the questions come in year after year after year. More people are using cell cameras now than ever. As more people rant and rave about how effective they are, more people want to get involved. So in this video, we're going to talk about six things you must know before purchasing cell cameras. So the first pretty common thing that you need to understand about running cell cameras and buying cell cameras is that the cell phone provider that you have on your phone carrier doesn't matter for your cell camera. So you don't have to marry your cell camera to the physical cell phone provider that you use for your cell phone. And what you wanna do there is Purchase a cell camera based off of what cellular signal is the strongest in the area, area that you're physically going to hang the camera. So for example, if I am on a property that has really, really good AT&T signal, but I have a Verizon cell phone, I'm not gonna wanna purchase a Verizon cell camera because I have a Verizon cell phone. I'm gonna wanna purchase a cell camera that will run off of the AT&T server because the signal in that area is stronger. I'll put it this way. If I'm in Texas with an AT&T phone and you're in Montana with a Verizon phone, we can still text, call, send pictures, do whatever, as long as there's cell signal in the area, right? Well, cell cameras are no different. Building off signal, this is a cellular camera. So the second thing you need to know about these cameras before you purchase them is that they will not work if you, there is no cell signal in the area. So there's kind of a common misconception that because they have external antennas and big antennas that they'll get better cell signal than your phone. Well, that's simply not true. There are certifications that every camera must pass and they must fall into cer certain parameters or they won't pass Verizon or AT&T or US Cellular's network verification. So cell cameras must have cell signal to transmit data. That's just how they work. The third thing you need to understand before you purchase a cell camera is that are they too expensive? A lot of folks think because it's a cell, a cell camera that it's gonna to be too expensive to run. Well, in the long run, cell cameras are a little bit more expensive to run than standard SD card cameras, but at the end of the day, what's your time worth? So these cameras save you a bunch of time. I'm gonna hang this camera right now. I'm gonna put these batteries in it and I'm not gonna come back until I'm ready to hunt. So the data plan on this camera is gonna be anywhere between 10 and $12 a month, and that's gonna be for three or four months. So I'm looking at under $50 for the year to run it. I have a, one set of batteries, an external power source, and one SD card for this camera. So the initial cost is a little bit more upfront, but don't get scared away by the price point. Think about how much your time's worth. One, if not the biggest point to consider when purchasing or looking into purchasing cell cameras is data plans. These cameras do need data plans to transmit the data from the camera to your phone. When you start diving into data plans, they get pretty specific towards what brand that you're purchasing, but with the Exodus render, the data plan handling is pretty simple. So we don't operate off a system that each camera needs its own data plan. So you have to manage individual data plans per camera. That could get hectic and that could be a huge headache. With the Exodus data plans, so you have a line fee per camera per month and then you purchase one chunk of data that will encompass all of the data necessary to transmit the data throughout the 10 cameras. So as you start to add cameras to that data plan, the per camera cost actually gets a little bit cheaper. The big benefit is having all of your cameras in one place on one data plan and it'll save you a giant headache. The last thing you need to understand about cell cameras is the image quality. Now, if you're scrolling through social media and you see all the cell camera photos being uploaded, chances are those are the compressed images and it makes it seem like cell cameras don't take crystal clear sharp images. Well, that's certainly not true. Cell cameras transmit compressed images really small files, that saves you data. Those images inherently are gonna be a little bit less clear. However, with most cell cameras, you can either request the HD image straight from the SD card, that'll send you the full resolution, crystal clear HD image, or all of the, all of the pictures are also stored on the SD card internally in the camera. So you will have the full resolution, HD clear, beautiful pictures that you are used to getting from your standard SD card cameras 
with your cell cameras as well.